What's going on guys, FlyingDBZ here and we're back for another Pokemon Mastered video and we finally got the Halloween events coming to the game. With Halloween coming very very close, we got the, uh, oops, clicked the wrong one. Uh, we got the Halloween summons now, so we got uh, Acerola here with Mimikyu. And then we also got, oops, wrong way. Uh, and then we also got Hilbert and uh, Mightyena. So, I mean, they're definitely good sync pairs to go for. Um, and they're like... Seasonal sync pairs, so we're not going to be seeing them for another full year. So if you want to summon for them, definitely go ahead. And they're very good too. So like, if you do want to summon, they're very good. And uh, since they're seasonal, you're only going to see them like once a year. Um, so, but yeah, they're they're really good. I'll make another video on uh, on the summons, so uh, be on the lookout for that. But anyways, before we get into anything else, I just want to say that I'm really sorry for not being able to upload like right away. When these kind of stuff come out because like since I work a full-time job it is difficult for me to get the content out like right away um so that's the only thing so I just really want to apologize for that because uh like it, it does suck I really want to upload like right away uh but since I work and everything full-time it, it, it's hard to manage uh uploading um consistently like I'm be I've been uploading consistently but it's hard to uh, like upload like right when all this stuff comes out because uh, I'm asleep and then have to wake up and get ready for work So it's very very hard to uh, to manage that. But anyways, we got the event for the Halloween So fight or fright is here and I actually went ahead and uh, did all of the uh, the fights and the story um, I did not read the story. I just skipped it because I was gonna save uh, my reaction and everything for uh, for this video so We'll just get right into it, and then we'll see what to expect for this story. Now, Acerola is just adorable. Like, she <laughs> she is so, so cute. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what kind of role she has in this story. And everything is looking very, very good right now. Like, yeah, the, the colors, uh, like, the, the scenery it just looks amazing. As always. <laughs> Fight or fright. If I win, you have to give me your candy. Oh, uh, this guy's already a pooper. Fight or fright? Don't go easy on me just because I'm a, I'm little. Oh, oh my God, that talking. Okay, don't go easy on me just because I'm a widow. We gotta talk like we're little kids. I forgot about that. Hey, there we are. I wonder where Acerola and Hilbert are. Wow, this city's all decked out. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. That it's all decked out. Let's go. <laughs> There's uh, Mimikyu. Pikachu spotted Mimikyu nearby. Something about it seemed oddly familiar. Yeah, Mimikyu hates Pikachu, so how is this gonna go? Hey, there's Acerola and, Mim and uh, um, Hilbert. Man, they just look awesome. Like, Acerola is just so cute. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And Hilbert's just a badass right there. Oh, Flying DBC, it's you. Looks like you found Mim my Mimikyu. We were a little worried at first since he bolted all of a sudden. Glad he found each other. He must, have, he must have ran off when he spotted a Pikachu. You know, I think I read somewhere that Mimikyu disguised themselves as Pikachu to get close to people and other Pokemon. I think it's because like, Mimikyu hates Pikachu. Um, I mean, in Sun and Moon, because I've recently been watching Sun and Moon as well, like, they've uh, stated like in the beginning of the season of Sun and Moon that Mimikyu really hates uh, Pikachu, so I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a little bit different in here. Have you noticed that your Pikachu hasn't stopped staring at Acerola's Mimikyu since you arrived? <laughs> maybe Mimikyu's disguise is making him curious. Now that you mention it, I think I saw Pikachu staring at Mimikyu while we were in the Pokemon Center too. If he's giving you this much attention, he must really want to be your friend, Mimikyu. Isn't that great? <laughs> Mimikyu. That reminds me, where's Palisand? Are you with Mighty Ina Hilbert? Yeah, you know, I'm curious about that. Where is her Palisand? Oh, she's not here today. She and Oshawott are playing with some kids at the beach. What, at the beach? It's like nighttime. What are they doing there? <laughs> we didn't want to disturb all the fun they were having, so we let them stay and play. Yep, wait, wait, are they alone? What? <laughs> yep, I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of candy tonight so I can share it with everyone back at the beach. In that case, you better get your special, you better get your special shout ready. We got a bunch of battles to win. You got it. Mimikyu and I will be scooping up all the competition tonight. 
I'm, I won't be surprised if she does that because, like, she's so cute. Like, honestly, if Hilbert or Acerola show up at, uh, at your door and be like, Halloween, trick or treat, and, uh, like, who would you give the candy to? Who would you give the candy to? I would give it to Acerola easily. I'd be like, here, take the whole bowl. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll go through the battle as well. Uh, just because, like, because uh, this is what you're going to have to do to advance in the story anyways. Uh, but if we run out of stamina going through it, then, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll just skip it. But I need to do these battles anyways to farm up my items, uh, for the exchange shop. So we'll just do that for the time being as well. Uh, but the battles are super easy anyways, so you don't really have to worry. Um, like, even when you advance, um, it, it's still very easy. Anyways, like, look at that. One damage it did to us. Like, what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. One damage, like. <laughs> all right that's uh that's interesting uh but yeah so like if you have uh, certain sync pairs with you in these battles you also get uh, boosted rewards so um for going through this uh, i definitely recommend uh, using the boosted rewards so like when we go over here of course hilbert and ace roller are gonna have the boosted rewards and then you got uh, morty and then you got uh miss magius and then you got chandelier gengar uh ace roller and her Pelican, and then our main characters so um, of course, if you got the new summonable Halloween units, they're going to give you the most. Uh, but anyways, let's continue with the Halloween story. Honestly, every the visuals always look amazing. So, oh, Isarola! Oh my god, so adorable. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that through the whole story. Like, look at her! Fight or fright. I hope you accept my challenge, because if you don't, Teehee, you will face my... Wait, you'll have to face my bag of treats instead. Tricks instead. Oh! My reading is terrible. Man, look at the scenery. Oh my god. They really did very nice, like, a, a very nice job on this. Wow. Fight or fright. So, oh, okay, so that's the challenge. They, they just go around and just be like, fight or fright. I'm going to do that uh, this Halloween. Okay, wait, maybe not because of COVID, but <laughs> anyways. I don't, know about, I don't know about you, but I prefer Pokemon battling to get the pants scared off of me. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey, and we just go up to random, like, strangers and be like, uh, fight or fright. Look at all the candy I won. Nice. Looks like you've already got a pretty good stash. This is the, this is just the beginning, though. Yep, the real battles are just getting started. Wait, who's this? Uh, hmm. Hilbert just looks pissed off. Look at him. He's like, whoa, who was that? <laughs> uh, ha ha ha. Aren't you funny tonight? That tis I, a worthy challenger? Oh, it's Hilda. Come on, let's have a Pokemon battle. Hilbert, I challenge you. Hey, no, you gotta say Fright or Fright. Come on now. Hang on a sec. Challenge me to a battle is totally fine, but you know what's going on tonight, right? Of course, whenever the battle, whenever the Pokemon battles are, that's where I'm gonna be. No one loves battling more than me. Right, but we're not just battling tonight. There's candy and... If you want to challenge somebody to a battle, there's a special rule you have to remember. Yes, fight or fright. Fight or fright. Come on, say it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Wait, you do know what about the special rule then? Phew, that's good. Yes, all right. Tepig. Oh, I love how the tail just glows up. Duh, if two trainers' eyes meet, they got to have a Pokemon battle. Come on, let's go. I'm coming, I'm coming at you with everything I've got. Uh, no, no, that's not the world we're talking about, Hilda. <laughs> She's so clueless, and you just have Hilbert, like, oh, man. All right, the battle's over now, Hilda. This is getting exhausting. Exhausted already? You're just that, you're, you're just getting lazy now, Hilbert. Remember how hard we used to fight on the, on the battle subway? Oh, I remember the battle subway. Oh, those are such good times. Yeah, of course I do, but battling isn't what's making me exhausted. Listen, Hilda, I think you're confused. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, fight or fright, huh? Why didn't you just tell me all of that in the first place? I saw a tribe, but you rushed us into a battle before she could finish explaining. Whoops. We can just, you know, forget all that happened though, right? Besides, if you're looking for candy, I think I might have a lead for you. The people I battled earlier actually gave me some. Really? Can you tell us where they are? Sure. After such a great battle with you guys, it's the least I could do. 
Hell yeah, give us our candy. We're looking for more candy. And I guess that's why there's a battle after every story. Uh, because then, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Like, I was wondering, like, why, like, as I was quickly just going through this, so at least I have it ready for, uh, tonight for, <laughs> for this video, I was wondering why there was, like, a story and then fight, a story and then fight. Uh, but anyways, now we're off to the scientist, so, um, yeah, the recommended level is 40, so, again, you're not gonna have any trouble going through this. Even if you're a beginning trainer or a beginning player, you're not gonna have very much, uh, trouble going through this as well. Um, so yeah, like a Shadow Ball should literally just take him out, but I'm just gonna go for a Phantom Force, cause why not? We'll just Phantom Force all of them. Oh, wait, okay, maybe, uh, maybe not. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go for more buffs then. I was not expecting that. Alright, Phantom Force, let's go. I love Phantom Force's uh, animation, like it's just so satisfying to look at. So now we'll just go with Shadow Ball just to get it done with quicker. Um, so surprisingly, they're actually surviving each hit. I mean, you're dead, like, <laughs> super effective, you're down, goodbye. Uh, now let's continue with the story. I do plan on getting my Morty to 6 stars in the future, but right now, like, <laughs> I still need to get my Leaf to uh, 6 stars, so, yeah. And then if I end up pulling for these new Sync Pairs, then, I mean, yeah, I don't <laughs> there's not enough 5 star power-ups to, uh, to go around. Even if you're a megaton whale, like you're gonna have trouble getting enough that you need. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! How did I start that? I'm pretty sure this is the spot Hilda mentioned. There's nobody here. I think this forest is haunted. You know what? Let's go with there's nobody here. I know this spot. Ghost Pokemon love to lurk around in places like this. I wonder if there is any cuties floating around in the forest now. You got Mimikyu. Hey, how can you forget your Mimikyu? Now that you mention it, this place does kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. If anything happens, it'll be up to me to per, uh, to protect everyone. Ah, look at Hilbert being the tough guy. Gengar, <laughs> they're gonna be in a creep. Oh my gosh, what a cutie. Where did you come from, buddy? And then you have Acerola, like, we're looking at him like a creep, and then she's like, oh my god, you're so cute. It couldn't be a wild Pokemon, could it? There aren't supposed to be any in Pasio. Wait, what, really? Honestly, uh, alright, well that's cool to know. Wait, I think something else is hiding over there. Everyone, get behind me. <laughs> oh, that's actually cool. Yay, it's another ghost Pokemon. Today must be my lucky night, you guys. And where did you come from, cutie pie? Want to come play in the forest with the <laughs> Acerola is just so cute. Something's not right here. That's the second Pokemon we've encountered without its trainer tonight. Hey, and Chandelier, I saw something in the bushes. Go get him, Hilbert. You, you know, you don't think that was a... Hilbert, Flying DBZ, there's something over there. You don't say. Alright, let's do this, Mighty Anna. Okay, who's gonna come? Chandelier! Love that Pokemon. Oh my gosh, it's Chandelier. Look how cute it is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm loving this story. Wait a sec. I feel like I've seen these three Pokemon together somewhere before. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? Huh? I think I recognize that voice. Hey, now it's battle time. Let's go. We're on the third battle, I think. The only downside about doing this ahead of time is like you. It, <laughs> it's so easy for me to just lose track of uh, where we are. Uh, but so far so good, so far so good. If, uh, if we do end up uh, replaying, then I guess uh, we could just skip it and then go <laughs> to uh, the story that we haven't done yet. Uh, so now we're actually going to start needing to buff up a little bit more. Um, just because, uh, surprisingly, they actually are surviving more hits. Um, but uh, I guess I'm not used to that because when I first did these battles, um, I automatically just did all of our buffs right away. Even though we didn't need to, like it uh, recommended level 40 and stuff like that, but eh, it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. But uh, we'll sync move this guy, and then uh, yeah, we'll sync move him because we're not gonna have uh, enough time. If we go for Phantom Force, he would have been able to sync move, uh, and then Shadow Ball we would need to wait for anyways. So yeah, <laughs> we would have uh, gotten sync move, so it's better to just go for the sync move ourselves. And uh, boom, there we go. Raya Chu is. Done. Why is he weak to ghosts? He's not 
a psychic type. He's a fairy. Fer fairy and electric. So it's weird to see that he's weak to a uh, ghost. But, <laughs> like, I literally just noticed that. Like, when I first went through this battle, I did not notice that at all. But, I mean... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the story's like almost done already. It's, it's not a very long story. And it seems like Dino is getting quite lazy on the story aspect with it being like very short. Um, the knight stood... Mm, the knight stood bravely in front of the beautiful princess, ready to protect her from harm. He had no choice but to unleash the dark power sealed within him. Fangs bored, he leaped at the enemy. Oh my goodness, you two are simply perfect. Yes, I haven't felt this inspired in weeks. I didn't think I could make someone so happy just by wearing a costume. I'm glad I dressed up. Me too. The look on uh, Chantel's face alone makes me all the eff makes it all the effort with it. She, uh, she looks so happy. What brings you here, Chantel? Did you come here alone? Yes. Did you come here alone? Well, let's battle. Uh, <laughs> we'll go for uh, the first one. What brings you here? I don't think what you pick really matters on what they say ahead of time, like after, so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> ah, there you, ah, there you are, Chantel. Wait, what's going on? Yes. I came this way looking for our Pokemon, but I ended up finding Acerola and then the others, too. We were just chatting a bit, a bit, huh? All of that fresh ink in your notebook seems to suggest otherwise. Oh, how could I not write, Morty? Have you seen the wonderful costumes these two are wearing tonight? Yeah, Acerola is just so adorable. Look at her! So cute! Acerola looks like the spitting image of Mimikyu in that adorable hood, doesn't she? It's like she used disguise herself. <laughs> She's so cute! And then you have Hilver, it's so cool too. And Hilver looks like a mighty Ina lurking in the shadows, waiting for the perfect opportunity to leap out and catch his prey. Alright it is, let's go. Wish with such perfect um, mooses right before my eyes. Did I even say that right? Uh, this novel is practically writing itself. That's all fine and dandy as long as you haven't forgotten the reason we came here in the first place. Hey Wait a minute. Did you three come here to get candy too? Candy? Ah, you mean that fight or fright thing. Sorry child, that's not why you're here. Oh, Agatha. Always so rude. We've all gathered here for a midnight parade. We ghost type users are going to march through town with our Pokemon while all the spooky decorations are on display. The magical, mysterious atmosphere downtown inspired us to do something extra special. We're hoping that the other ghost type users will come and enjoy the parade with us as well. The midnight parade? That sounds so amazing. Can I march too? I want to be in the parade. Me too, let's go. I had a feeling you guys, you'd say that. What do you think, Morty? Chantel? Yes. I would love to have you, all of you join the parade, but first, we need to make sure you're up to the, per, uh, per, uh, to the participate, uh, to participate. Oh my god. <laughs> my reading! That's right. If you can prove your knowledge of Ghost Type Pokemon by defeating us in battle, you can join us in the parade. And as long as you can say the magic words, we'll throw some candy in as well. Right? Really? You'll give us candy too? In that case, I'll give this battle everything I've got. No holding back. Yeah, just throw candy in there and then we'll just give it our 100%. <laughs> Come on, guys. That candy is good as ours. Fight or fright. Let's go. Oh, Acerola is so cute. She is so cute. Oh, my God. She's so adorable with that pose. It's like, look at me. <laughs> so cute. All right. So now we're on round four. And uh, let's do this. So the recommended level is 60. So again, like it's not going to be difficult at all. Uh, they're not, like, unless you have, like, Charizard or something, then, I mean, or the, uh, recommended St. Paris, then, I mean, you'll be able to one-shot. I mean, we should be able to one-shot anyways, but, uh, um, but, like, they're not gonna be doing much damage to us. So, like, as you guys can see, like, they're doing nothing. So, no worries right there. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna finish up with the buffs, and then we'll start attacking. We're gonna go for the sync move on Bronzong, just because, like, why not? Because then, like, I, I really, every time I try to do these, uh, vi like, not videos, but, like, uh, these, like, story events, I try to not let them sing move. Just because I want to get it done as fast as possible without taking as much damage. I've always been like that, but, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, like, it's not hard anyways, but, still, I'd like to just try to take no damage. But, of course, like, <laughs> with having, like, these, uh, 
three on three battles, like you're gonna be taking battle uh, damage anyways. Uh, like even if it was a one v one, you're gonna be taking damage. Uh, but anyways, there we go. We're done, and uh, let's move on to the final story. And then, uh, of course, after this, like we'll be doing the full force battles, but we're not gonna do it in this video. Otherwise, it would be way, way, way too long. Uh, so now we're on to the midnight parade. I was so close to saying the midnight train. Like if you guys know that song by uh, um, Train, I think the name, the band name, or uh, Train. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys know who Train is and uh, the Midnight Train song, hell yeah, there you go. You're the OGs. Um, anyways, the three challenges fought tooth and nail to earn the the right pri to to earn the right to march in the midnight parade, and when the battle ended, they smiled in triumph, knowing that they had proven themselves worthy to the honor. What a magnificent battle. I'm sure you'll want, you'll do wonderfully in the parade. I mean, don't we just need to sit there and wave? Like, <laughs> Agreed, you three did impressively well. I, I almost want to ask for a rematch just so that we can continue training together. I mean, to be fair, you guys were not there. I mean, I used Morty, but like Agatha and Chantel, don't say you were there. Come on now. <laughs> but I suppose that can wait for another time. Oh, I think that would be wise, Morty. Best you save that secret training of yours for another day. Now then, I think it's time we show Passio just how magnificent we Ghost Type users can be. That was a mouthful. I probably should have breathed a little bit before finishing that. <laughs> Gengar is like, ha ha. And then gone. Poof. He has teleport now. And then there we are for the little parade. Are we going to actually be on some float or something, or are we just going to walk? Like, what kind of parade is that? Driplum, like, take that candy, let's go. <laughs> He's like, poof, come on, guys, come on, come on, the parade is starting, let's go, let's go. Oh, Gengar, don't scare me, I swear. Man, like, the scenery just looks very, very nice. It's Cirola, oh, she's so good. So many ghosts! Look at look, it's Mimikyu! Cute! Mimikyu's probably so happy to have fans who think it's cute. Whoa, where did you get that costume, bro? You look so cool. Thanks, Mighty Yen and I are twins today. Mighty Yen looks so cool too. Can we have a battle? I want to see you guys fight together. Did I hear something about a battle? Don't forget about me. Oh man, Acerola, come on. <laughs> Me too, me too. I want to battle too. Fight or fright. Mimikyu is actually really cute too. It looks like the ghost Pokemon are a hit. They all look happier than a hero in a fairy tale. I guess it's good, it's good to do something festive every now and again. You're on, kid. Bet you can't beat me. I don't plan on losing either. Come on, Flying DPC. Let's do this. Your candy is going to be all mine. Here I go. Fight or fright. Nah, your candy's ours. <laughs> Alright then, it's time to fight or fright. We're gonna scoop up this battle and scoot away with all your candy. Let's go! And that's it for the story. I think I think that's it, right? Like that was the parade, and I think the rest are battles, and none of them none of the battles have like a little story in there. So I guess that's it. Honestly, the story is very, very nice. I like it. It's like a, a fun little story for the Halloween event that's coming. Uh, I mean, like, Halloween event as in, like, uh, real life, but, of course, we're not gonna have, like, a proper Halloween, like, where we go trick-or-treating and everything because of what's going on around the world, sadly. Um, but, uh, still, like, it, like I love how these games that Pokemon Masters is doing, like, these Halloween stuff, which is very, very nice. Um, but that's the story. I like it. It's a fun little cute thing, and Acerola is just adorable as always. Oh, man. <laughs> she looks so cute with, uh, with the costume, but, uh, but anyways, that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. It's always hard when the journey begins. Hard to find your way. Hard to make amends. But there's nothing.